Hey there folks, today I want to talk about character names in your book, in your western novel, realistic character names that are going to lend authenticity to your book without sounding silly. Let's get right at it and we'll also cover uh, nicknames as well too, to stay away from some good ones you could use. Be right back. <music> Alright, let's get right to the point. Nothing is going to date your Western more than the names you use for your characters. The days of Jube Jubal, Cal Calloway, Jed Jedediah, you know, those are, are so dated, 50s, 60s, 70s Westerns. They're just not believable. They, they come across as hokey, and uh, I think with, with those type of names, you're going to ensue almost a comic book character type of, a, of, a, of an image. And you certainly don't want that in your Western novel. Uh, good character names, uh, for example. Just good, solid names. Uh, I'll give you an example. In my first book, The Fine Line, one of the main characters, Charles Wilson Merritt. Uh, the second main character, Monty Pruger. You know, Pruger, I think, is of German descent. Just good, solid names. Monty Pruger. Uh, Jim Spence. Sheriff Joe Coble. Not that you can't have nicknames. Nicknames are fine, again, as long as they're not ridiculous. And for heaven's sake, stay away from names like Kid Colt. Uh, What's another one? Oh yeah, Luke Lynch. That's another good one. I actually saw this in a dime novel I picked up one day in a thrift bookstore. It was about a mountain man. The guy's name was Hawk Hawkins and he carried, you guessed it, a Hawkin rifle. Like for crying out loud. Not good. Uh, I can just envision with all these names, I can just envision the big kapow and bam, you know, over the, the comic book characterization of these other of guns going on. It's just, it's just ridiculous. You want to stay away from that. Keep your names realistic, uh, solid, believable, and it will lend authenticity to your book. Nicknames. You can certainly do nicknames. You know, some of the, some of the original nicknames back in those days, Dynamite Dick. You know, that, that's cool. That's believable. Dynamite Dick. Uh, of course, Billy the Kid. Uh, Wild Bill. As we all know, like the, that's 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 believable. It's solid, uh, not goofy sounding. Uh, the idea of, of putting two names together with the first letter sounding the same, the first three letters sounding the same, that don't work, folks. Not anymore. Not in this day and age. You've got to have your westerns authentic and uh, grisly, believable. This is going to be a short video. Not much else to say other than that. Uh, it just gets right to the point. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment below whether you think this is uh, a good idea or not. I'd love to hear your comments on this one. And some of the other good examples of ridiculous names would be, would be fun to kind of see. Uh, anyway, I hope I'm not going to offend anybody too much on this, but uh, it's just the way I see it. So anyway, uh, check out my books, uh, jwcollinsauthor.com. I'm available on all the Amazon sites, of course. And uh, until next time, have the best day you can. Talk to you then.